Hello all and welcome to Duplicate Success International Monday Night Webinar. Today is Monday, October 19th. My name is Randy Krebs, Executive Gold Director from Salt Lake City, Utah. I have the distinct honor of introducing the host of tonight's webinar. He is a very well respected business leader and mentor in this industry. You'll definitely want to have your pen and paper out, sitting up, paying attention and taking notes as you learn how this industry expert continues to build his business successfully. He has achieved the rank of Executive Ruby Director within our company. He is the co-founder of Duplicate Success International. He is an amazing leader, mentor, and most importantly, I'm very proud to call him my son. Jared, are you on the line? I am, Dad. Thank you so much for the great introduction. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to talk to everybody tonight and share all the things that uh, we learned as a team from the different events that just happened. And uh, before we get into all that, I just want to, first of all, welcome all the brand new people who are watching or who are on the webinar uh, for the first time. And also uh, just remind you of our team DMO, Daily Method of Operation. So if you do these three things every single day, you can be successful in your use on a business. Number one, use the products every day, AM and PM. Number two, read, watch, or listen to 15 minutes of personal development material daily. And that is so important to continue to get good, to improve at your craft. And um, only 15 minutes, our best people do an hour a day, but I can tell you it's very important. And number three is to add two brand new people to your contact list and invite them with a text message or phone call every single day. And this is an example of what you can say in a, in a text. You could say, hey, my company just came out with a 10-minute YouTube video. We need to practice on some friends. Would you be willing to watch it and let me call you afterwards to ask you a few questions? And that text, you can send that to two different people. And, and uh, then, of course, people say yes because it's about practicing. And at that point, you could call them back with your USANA mentor on a three-way call, ask them the closing questions, and finish the process. So it's that simple. And we have people who work full-time jobs that are still able to do their DMO. We have people that are, you know, mothers of three and four, five kids that are very, very busy that still are able to do their DMO. And you're about to see some examples of people who do that because they're having success in their business. And so let's go right into the team recognition. First of all, I want to welcome uh, Angie, Angie Pence, new client introduced by Catherine Lord. Great job, Catherine. It's uh Nice to see that you are having great success out there in um, Kelso, Washington. Also want to give some big uh, recognition to Anissa Morgan, who's a brand new builder in USANA. She's pictured there on the left, and her daughter Victoria is on the right. They live in Cibolo, Texas, and um, Anissa just advanced to the builder status. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's somebody who made uh, $200 in one week on their, in their USANA business. Now, if you think about that, a solid uh, builder is going to make $800 a month, which is pretty good. I mean, if, especially for, for a part-time thing, um, that's definitely rivaling a, a lot of different part-time jobs. But the best part about it is you can continue to build it. And Achiever is the next status, which is uh, $400 in a week. And that's definitely mo more than uh, part-time jobs offer. So USANA can become quite an, a, a nice income and uh, becoming a builder is the first step to that. So congratulations, Anissa Morgan and uh, Victoria Horman, who your, her uh, daughter is pictured there. And Victoria is Anissa's sponsor. So congratulations to both of you. And then also we want to give some special recognition to one of our clients, Chastity Monk. Congratulations for releasing eight pounds in the last month with the reset transform phase. You look amazing. And Chastity says that uh, prior to USANA, she was stuck. She could work out, but she would never lose the weight. And just by starting her two shakes a day and her vitamins and her protein snacks and still having one healthy meal, she lost eight pounds her first month and she's on the, on the right track to hitting her goals. You look great, Chastity. Keep up the great work. And before we get into the training, I just want to remind you that we have a USANA clients page, which is basically a Facebook group. And when you enroll a new client, we want to encourage you to make a post. You can add your new uh, person there in the red box and then make a post welcoming them. Tag them in there. In there. Put a photo and, and welcome them to the USANA family because that's going to make them feel special. It's really important that uh, you create a community. So every time you put uh, – 
enroll a new client, want to encourage you to do that on the USANA clients page. That's our private team page. Okay. And then if you enroll a brand new associate, add them to the team DSI page, which is another private team page for us. Same way, you add them right there in the red box and then make a post. You can also add a client who's interested in how money is made. If a client is trying to do their research, you can add them to team DSI. Then we also have a uh, USANA group called Hybrid Solutions. Now this is over 5,000, actually close to 6,000 associates at this point, but this is for associates only. So you, you cannot add a client to this group, but the benefit of this group is that you have over 6,000 USANA associates from all over the world. It's really special. And if you're looking for a story, you can uh, search there in the top right where I put that box. If, if you're looking for a testimonial or um, you know, if you have a, a client or a friend that has diabetes or allergies or whatever, you can actually type it in there. Um, USANA is not a cure, so we, we do not cure any of that those things. But if you want to know a story from somebody who's been taking the products, this is the best way to find that and make that connection for your prospects. So now I'm going to pass it over to Randy and Viola Krebs, Executive Gold Directors and Co-Founders of Team DSI. Uh, they are my parents. I'm very proud of them and just feel so blessed to work with them every week because they were at the GoPro training event, Recruiting Mastery, with Eric Worre in Las Vegas this past weekend. And mom and dad, tell us what you learned. Thank you, Jared. Yeah, actually, we are still in Las Vegas. We decided to hang here a couple more days and just enjoy the the weather in Las Vegas. But it's been it was great. So I guess with this, Jared, I'm gonna have to tell you to next slide it. Okay. You have the control. Let's go ahead and hit next. Okay. We just came from the fifth annual uh, GoPro Recru recruiting mastery. Again, it's hosted by uh, Eric Worre, and you know everyone may know that Eric Worre is a best-selling author, he's a speaker, trainer, entrepreneur and definitely a leader in the network marketing industry as well. And he's also a former distributor, so he, he's got the, the time in the trenches, basically, to know what it takes or, and has done, has successfully built uh, a network marketing business. So this was the fifth annual event, and if you look back at the history, the first event five years ago had 200 people in the audience. So here we are at the fifth annual, and there was 8,000 to 9,000 people in the audience. And then going on next year, the sixth annual, and I'll cover that at the end of this, uh, it's going to be held again in Las Vegas at, at the Las Vegas uh, Convention Center. And right now, 14,000 seats are on sale, and they'll be selling out quick. So here's a guy that has vision, that has taken his vision and put together this event. And this event was incredible. Um, just, just to cover some of his highlights for it, I think Viola wanted to cover one part of, part of it. Go ahead, Viola. Well, you know, Eric Worre talked to us for um, three, two three-hour blocks on two different days, and one of it was on mindset, and the other one was on skills. So Eric Worre is one of my favorite trainers that I've learned so much from, and we're, we've already implemented a lot of his strategies in our uh, manual and also with our teams. However, he's still bringing out new strategies. And one of the ones that I really liked, and it's really quite simple, is a new, um, a new way to approach someone to invite. And he says that this one is specifically for a hot market. So he said, a new associate, who is the first person or people that they talk to? Well, it's their family and their friends. And what happens is the family and the friends, they just crush this new associate down. I mean, they just negative. I mean, not always, but that's something that a new associate does not need. So what he says is that that new, um, the hot market approach is best for, for preferred customers. And so this one is for preferred customers to try products. So he actually says, you know, compliment them. You know, what I appreciate is that you are my family and supported me. I've just joined a business, and I don't want you to be a part of it. I wouldn't even ask you, ask you, but what is important to me is that I need feedback on my product and give me results. If you like it, I can show you how to be a customer, and if you don't like it, I won't bother you again. Use it for 30 days and let me know what you think. So that, that's something different. That's a different approach, and um, that's something that we might be incorporating into our, our new manual. He also ended the first night with something that really touched me. Is, is network marketing worth it? 
And it is worth it for the freedom you'll enjoy. Uh, it's worth it for the lives you're going to touch. It's worth it for the people that you're going to meet, hang out with, because okay? you're going to hang out with cool people. It's worth it for the places you're going to see. It's worth it for the causes you will contribute to, and it's worth it for the person that you'll become in the process. So very, very great words on this industry that we're on. Next, please. Here we are, you know, first night taking pictures. Next. Inside the event, we'll play 8,000 people or right in front of the VIP seating. Next. Uh, there's Team DSI in the house. Carolyn Helmiston, my uh, violin, myself, Becky Armstrong, and Christian Glad. So here we are, Team DSI. Next. Uh, some more. There's Linda Duke, uh, another night, violin, I, Kat, uh, Carolyn Humiston. Next. And USANA. Okay, I said eight to 9,000 people there. That's how many USANA associates were there. That's part of it. Not everyone made the picture. So that's quite a group of USANA associates being trained by the best. Next. W with that, uh, Christian and, and Becky, you can see here, they attended what was called the White Party right after. And I want to open the line up to, to Christian and Becky and let them take a minute or two and talk about their experience. They were there at the event. Christian, Becky, are, are you guys there? Yes, we're stepping away so we don't do feedback. Yeah, getting away. So, okay. Take a minute. Here? Yeah, take a minute or so and tell us about your experience being there. Um, it was a marvelous experience, uh, and and I, I'm happy to hear that you think I'm cool. So that just made my day. <laughs> um, we met people that. Without going there, there's no other way I could meet him. And I told you I was going to see if I could get thrown out by Eric. He actually did a commit to a $20 donation to the charity oh, that I support. So um, learned all kinds of things. Probably one of the best was the plan to review that Eric mm -hmm. kept repeating and repeating. And maybe I will finally get it down to where I can go plan to. Oh, yeah, review. And on that note, I will turn my time over to Becky so that she can review. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, you know, we were talking about what kind of nuggets, you know, what, what you learned. And, you know, really, you could have learned everything that we learned there, all the information. You could get it in a book or on YouTube. Um, they videotaped the convention. You could have been there. You could watch the whole thing online, right? Um, so you can get the same exact information. Um, but here's the deal. This is what, and I really saw this at the white party. It was just like so all over the billboard. Um, you cannot be deeply changed a YouTube link, um, not the way you are when you go to a convention. Um, you know, there is so, it's alive. There, there's power in the eye contact, the rush of getting away from your computer, um, the electricity of touching somebody hand to hand and the raw encouragement of 8,000 people cheering together. You know, if you agree, say I, you know, if you die. Yeah, and I really joined hearts with people this week uh, from oh, competing so. industries who had nothing to gain from helping me. And they traveled huge distances to be there. And, and we were truly together. It wasn't um, there, this group and that group. He didn't even know whose group was what. Mm -hmm. um, a man from Mexico taught me a phrase in Spanish, and he made me repeat it over and over until I could pronounce it, and finally told me what I was saying. And he said, network marketing will change the world. Um, mm -hmm. He said it matches, delivers unmatched growth and income opportunities for his people and for ours, but he said it will bring our two nations together. Um, right. He said it's bigger than our checkbook. He promised we'll see boundaries fall when we come together and and people change their world for good with network marketing. Um, and, you know, it, th that's what this weekend was. It was just, I felt, I don't even have enough words for life, how life-changing it felt. But, um, and then it dawned on me, my change really began in 2013 when Betty had the courage to ask me again if I'd listened to a presentation, even though I'd been telling her no to network marketing for seven years. Mm -hmm. And, you know what, Betty had just come home from an event just come home for an event and you know what else this time I watched your video and that time I said yes um, they said that you'll be nine times more successful um, and, it, and it was just so obvious why because it's the people that's what networking is it's it's not just a system it's not just a script it's people 
and the conventions remind us of that in just a big, big way. Um, and so I've committed to going in August to the international convention. I'm going to GoPro in December. I have to figure out how to do it. Um, I bought the tickets, but travel is expensive, and it's not easy, and I'm extremely busy. You know, so what? I'm going to figure it out. Um, I met, talk about not easy, I met a woman, her name was Christine, um, and she had several interruptions during the Tony Robbins session. She had five calls, and she told me they were hospice. And she said, you know, my husband's in hospice. He promised me he won't die before we go. Yeah. And she told me, this is where I want to be this week, and this is where he wanted me to be. Wow. And for her, it was worth it. And I'm just not going to play around anymore. Those people that I connected with, like Christine, um, I just saw how much it is not just about me. You gain new skills, you get information, systems, inspiration. But uh, it really simmers down to seeing the incredible value of a life. Yep. Um, you know, and for some odd reason, I was the one who was given this opportunity, and my life has changed. Uh, but the opportunity wasn't just for me. And people are hurting, and one person at a time, we're going to help them find a better way. And that's, you know, if you're with me, say hi. <laughs> hi. No, excellent. Thank, thank you so much, both of you. They're great nuggets. And, uh, Wow, thank, thanks for sharing. Really appreciate it. So proud of you guys. It was, I, I cannot wait for the next event. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Next, Jared. Not only that, we have people that were tuned into the live, to the live broadcast. I want to bring Julia Hay on. Julia, if you can <laughs> there. Hi, Julia. Yeah. How are you? Hi, you're not really going to make me go after Becky, are you? Yeah, just, just a couple, quickly, just a couple of nuggets. So, you know, you watch, the, you watch the live stream. Yes, yeah. that was so what intense. Was what was the live stream? Live stream. And what was some of the nuggets? Okay, Um. well, at first, I don't know if you, being, being that you were there live, um, yes, that is such a difference in the intensity and the, you know, just the power of being around all that energy. So my sister and I brought it, okay? The house was, <laughs> we were jumping yeah. up and down with that Tony Robbins. Oh, we excellent. Had, we had the chandelier shaking. So anyway, we did yeah. clap and <laughs> everything. So, um, and we're jumping along with everyone. But um, at the very beginning, I don't know if you knew, but uh, there was like 8,000, well, you had like 8,000 where you were. Yeah. And there was like and I think there was about that same amount online, 6,000 or something they were saying. Anyway, we crashed the system. Wow. About, about oh, a lot of times. I, I can't remember how many. So when we first got started, the first night was a wash. <laughs> there was nothing. We just couldn't get on. And wow. so then the Thursday, they made up for it, and then it crashed again. And so by Friday we got a little concerned. It crashed, but but by the time Tony Robbins came on, it was on. And now because but the the producers or whatever are so great, they're going to let us have it not just one week, but for at least two weeks have the session yes. for free. Yes. And so my sis and I we so we just watched uh, the first session and we watched uh, you know we're, we're catching up anyway. So and there were so many great nuggets. Um, like what you were saying earlier um, about the, you know, is it worth it? Oh my gosh, one of the, the nugget I wrote down off of that same part was the greatest benefit isn't what you'll get by being involved in network marketing. The greatest benefit is what you will become. And Great. stop playing small. Yep. <laughs> and that, would seem like, that seemed like to be um, an ongoing nugget throughout the session, actually. So. Yep. Um, and what I like about what when Becky was talking, it reminded me because she's out there at the white party and the VIPs and everything. But um, I think it was Gloria Mayfield Banks or someone who said, "Iron sharpens iron." Right. And I just love that. So when you're out there with people of that caliber, That's yeah, true. you're sharpening each other. I just love that. So anyway, it was a wonderful event, and I can't, I'm going to look forward to some more of it. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thank you, Julia. Thank you so Thank much. You. All righty. Bye bye. Next, Jared. Yeah, you know, again, we've already covered Eric and all that, so it is a stone cold, cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's definitely go out and tell the world. Next. 
Okay, so we've, we've taken just a few of the speakers. There were, a, there were a lot more than what we're going to talk about, but we just wanted to just give you a little feel of what uh, some of the stuff that we, we learned. Jim Fobert has 20 years experience in the direct selling industry. He is known as the millionaire mentor. DMO was mentioned several times, and now our team knows what DMO is. The key, he says the key is DMO every day. Patience is the fastest way to get to the top. Distractions will steal your dreams and rob you blind. Take it from an expert. Um, take your DMO serious, everyone. Next. This was one of my favorite ones. Um, I could actually probably say it was my favorite one. Bob Proctor, he is a legendary figure in the world of personal development. Um, I, I have so many notes on him, but a couple of things that I really wanted to share with everyone is he says that our mental program has exclusive control over our habitual behavior and that is called a paradigm. The key to change your paradigm is learn, unlearn, and relearn. It's all about the mind. Knowledge doesn't change results. If you want to change the results, you need to change the paradigm. You don't manage time, you manage activity. He was two solid hours um, speaking with us, and that time just flew by for me. Yeah, that was excellent. Next. Surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers, the believers and the thinkers, but most of all, surround yourself with those who see greatness within you, even when you don't see it yourself. That bottom, bottom last line is um, the most profound. Even when you don't see it yourself, others will see it in you. Next. Okay, and Tony Robbins uh, spent three and a half hours. Now, if you've ever been to or heard about a Tony Robbins event, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to go to one of his 50-hour events. But we had three and a half hours condensed and definitely inspirational. So, But he also said inspiration without a strategy is worthless. Again, that's where I'm very thankful for what our team has developed through the Fast Track Manual. That's our strategy. You know, and you know, we have the inspiration, so with that, we, we are worth a lot. Next. Uh, emotion is created by emotion. There was a lot of jumping, a lot of yelling, a lot of screaming. Uh, he does this for you know to, to raise your emotion because that what to help you create motion, motion to take your business forward. Next. Um, controlling our focus is the single most important thing in life. What you focus on is how you feel. What you focus on is how, how you feel. If you focus on bad, you focus on the negative, you're going to feel that way. If you change your focus, if you shift your, shift your focus towards the positive, you're, you're going to have that positive feeling as well. So key on this is keep your, keep your focus positive. Next. And then complexity is the enemy of execution. Again, falling back to what we've developed with the Fast Track Manual. We have a very simple system, so we don't have anything really complex, I would say, as we build our business. So we have no enemy of execution. We have a very simple, duplicatable system that we all execute. Next. Rising star panels. Uh, this is pretty cool. These are up-and-coming stars in the network marketing industry, and I want to focus on one of them. Next. Jordan Kemper became a six-figure earner in USANA in one and a half years, and we were very fortunate that someone from our company was one of the four out of 8,000 put on stage to speak to everyone. His tips, a couple of his tips were, be consistent every day. Have a strong, positive culture in your business. Do your DMO daily and promote events. He says, no one expects to go to college and get a degree in six weeks. Give it four years. He says, comparison is the thief of joy. And he says, to be real clear on your vision. Next. We also had the privilege of having hearing from Robert Kiyosaki for a couple of hours. He is the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He says that network marketing is a higher form of intelligence. T 
teach people to fish, he says. It is our job to help people make a spiritual shift. Learn to handle your emotions. And he's just such a rock star, Robert Kiyosaki. He's, he's so fun to listen to. Next. Uh, this is Shane Morano, and this was great. Uh, Shane, he's an amazing gentleman. He definitely uh, has a very big network. He has over 1.5 million distributors in 50 countries. And uh, former hockey player, he, he was great. But one of the things he talked about is with network marketing, it's work. And at first you work, 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 and get paid. And then later on, later on, later on, it's get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid and then work. I, it's just definitely our business. It, you, it's leverage. Once you build a, a big business, the pay comes it, 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 as it grows. Next. Um, this is Kathleen Degelman. Um, she is a network marketing uh, professional as well, with over 10 years in the industry. Um, she talked about, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you make, it, it's how much money you keep. And, and they're so true. There's so many people that have such a great story. They're, they're making millions, but they're spending more than they're making. So, again, it matters how much you keep. Next. This was a fun one. Stand on your feet and get off your butts. Okay, well, Tiffany Malott replaced a full-time income in five months and reached six figures in three years, three years later. She went from a full-time jelly maker to a full-time wife, mother, and full-time millionaire. She says, get rid of your big butt. The word but nullifies everything that is said before it. The, wor the word but can be harmful. It allows you to go back on a commitment. We believe our butts are true. We don't think we can get rid of our butts. We are comfortable carrying our butts. Our friends have big butts too. You need to believe you can get rid of your butt. Visualize yourself without a big butt. You are going to do great things. Visualize it. Speak it. Speak victory in the face of failure. Move into massive action. That's the way you get rid of your big butt. Next. Um, this one, um, you cannot sell a dream if you look like a nightmare. Mike Sims was great with that. And I even posted that on the, as part of her daily posts. Next. And then finally, Jordan Alder got up. Now, Jordan is a person that's made over $20 million in his network marketing business. Click. He starts out with, okay, here's a $100 bill. What would you pay for it? And so, would you pay $50 for it? So, a person stood up and said, yeah, I'll pay 50 a lot of the crowd, 75 100 125 And he goes, okay, how much would you pay for it if it's signed by... Eric Worre, if it's signed by Robert Kiyosaki, Bob Proctor, what if it's signed by everyone that's in that's been the major speaker here? It's all framed. How much would you spend? More and more people stood up or sat down as it approached a, a million dollars for it. Finally, it got to on stage where there was a couple of guys duking it out for how much they would spend next. This guy spent $3.2 million for that $100 bill. And the lesson here is, you know, it, it's a $100 bill. Yeah, it costs $100 for a $100 bill, but the value, what is the value of that? And to him, it's $3.2 million. So taking that with what we do every day, the cost of our particular business is anywhere from $300 to $1,300 to start, but the value of our USANA business is priceless. It's worth millions. So that was that whole exercise. It's not the cost, it's the value. And that money did go to charity. It went to the Hearing Foundation. Yeah, the Starkey Hearing. Next. And so for next year, again, the GoPro, or the seventh annual, sorry, seventh annual GoPro, 
is December 1st through the 4th, 2016, again in Las Vegas. Uh, we'll plan on this as our fourth quarter event, and these are the people that have already signed up to go. So thank you so much, everyone, for letting us share a lot of the nuggets. And, and uh, get to events, definitely. You learn so much. You're going to see that in this event, there's going to be Richard Branson, as well as Tony Robbins is back in 2016. And, and this particular event is not sold out. So um, I would suggest that if you want tickets, you could possibly get some from one of our upline uh, leaders that that bought uh, that bought a few in bulk. So, but I think you better hurry because uh, right now that price is three hundred and fifty. Uh, the price uh, through Eric Worry is seven hundred dollars. So obviously, um, you, you want to make plans and get to this event. All right. Thank you. You need to unmute yourself, Jared. Okay, I just I was talking into uh, <laughs> I just said can a bunch. Hear, of, can, hear. can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes. You can. Okay. Yes, yes, I can. Sorry, I was talking into the the computer, saying all these great things about you and how much I learned, and uh, it was on mute. So. <laughs> well, we 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 heard it. I, I really. It. I really love what you guys had to say about getting rid of the big butts and the the mastering your DMO and the emotional intelligence that Robert Kiyosaki talks about. And I'm sure, I mean, it was great to hear from Becky and Christian and, and Julia. It, it's just like, man, being there would have been so awesome. So I, I'm real excited for December of next year. And that that all of us go, you know, and that we're able to to really get a lot out of, of next year's event because I know uh, that that is one of the highlights of our year. So, thank you for all putting right. together such a great webinar about that, Dad. Oh, thank you. Bob. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. All right. So during GoPro, I was planning on attending GoPro, but then I won the cruise, me and my wife. So we're going to share the last part of the webinar about our experience on the USANA cruise. And this is also an event. This is a big training event as well. And it happened the same exact days of GoPro. So I had to decide which one. And we want to share our experience with this uh, with this cruise with you so you can see what this is because next year is Costa Rica and you could win the trip to Costa Rica. So I have my wife Crystal uh, with me on the webinar. Baby, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. So we're going to walk you all through this. And so we were at Success on the High Seas, which basically this is our boat. It's called the Adventures of the Seas. It's a Royal Caribbean cruise liner. Uh, we started out in Puerto Rico. Then we went over to St. Thomas, St. Kitts, Aruba, and Curacao over a seven-day voyage. And how did we win this? You might be thinking, well, every year USANA measures your CVP growth from July to July. Okay, so what does that even mean? What is CVP? CVP is your commission volume points. And what does that mean? Well, basically, it's the dollars that you make in USANA. One CVP is one US dollar. But one CVP, if you build in Mexico, would be 10 pesos. So anyways, let's just focus on dollars. It's basically they're tracking the dollars that you're making from July to July. So here's how we did it. How did we win this? Um, it, it was based on the growth. So from July 2013 to July 2014, we earned 82,938 CVP. Okay, so that was one year. And then from July 2014 to July 2015, we earned 99,620 CVP. So we grew by over 16,000 CVP. And that growth, uh, if you grow your business over 16,000, you, you could start out with zero the previous year. If you make 16,000 the next year you could win this. You don't have to be making a bunch of money in uh, the year prior, but by growing 16,000 CVP, we won our free cabin on the cruise. All our food was included and it was gourmet, every meal, you know, beautiful room inside the, the, the cruise liner. And of course we had to still pay for our flights to Puerto Rico and, and our excursions, but uh, man, 
uh, it was just so awesome. It, it's something I would never trade. We're going to share with you some of uh, some of our experiences and also share about how you can win the next trip coming up in Costa Rica. So here's how it went. Uh, day one, we ran into Tracy Winkman uh, and her husband, Greg. She's actually the number one client enroller in the entire United States market of USANA. And she is a, just a sweet, sweet person. Um, that's the formal picture we took right before we got on the boat. And her husband, Greg, is awesome as well. Just they, They're very good friends of ours. And um, then we went and had lunch, and you see Jordan Kemper off to the right there, a uh, Fortune 25 member. He was at the cruise, and then he flew over to GoPro. So he's pictured there with his wife, Kristen Kemper, and then um, Greg and Tracy and me and Crystal. It was just nice catching up with all these superstars in USANA. And in the middle there is uh, May Sue, which is one of the top associates in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we're making all these friends. And um, then this is a, a cute couple's photo we took, and there's also Diamond Directors Andrea Akiwa and her husband Salvador Milan, and they're going to be in San Antonio this Saturday, and you're going to want to learn from them. So it was just cool. Day one, hanging out with everybody. We got into our room. They had these cool stickers on, on our doors, the contest winner uh, stickers. And you could see, you know, because they had those on all the doors of different contest winners. And then at night, we had our first formal dinner. And that's pictured there with uh, on the right with uh, Marshall and Nanny Manley, new gold directors from Salt Lake City, Utah. And sitting at the table, Michelle Toy and Amanda Robertson, um, new gold directors from California. And in the middle is Lori Truman, United States Field Development for Corporate. Um, Crystal, do you want to say uh, anything about day one? It was just great to get to see, you know, a lot of the people getting on the boat with you and um, going to um, explore a little bit of the boat. We got there pretty early and um, people started just arriving throughout the day. And of course, at the end of the day one, we all had dinner together at 830. So that's another time that everybody really got to come together and kind of see who was there. But it was really awesome. Yes, it was. So that was day one. Moving on to day two, uh, we started out the morning, or well, the boat arrived into St. Thomas, which is the, the first stop in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and um, that's pictured there with Marshall and Nanny Manley, and we got on a catamaran, which is like a smaller boat that takes us snorkeling, and so I just couldn't stop taking pictures of our boat, that w our cruise liner, it was so huge, and um once we got into the water and we got on the boat, it was just a blast, just hanging out, you know, sharing USANA strategies, learning from our our, uh, our colleagues, and another picture of the boat there as we were going away. And then you just see all of this beautiful landscape as we were, were going down. Uh, we went quite a ways down, I guess, the ocean until we found the place where we were going to snorkel. So I got pictures of just all these cool little um, places that we were on and or I guess these are hotels that people, if they, if they go on an excursion there. And uh, and then we went snorkeling. And after we went snorkeling, they gave us this uh, free alcoholic drinks, which uh, we actually drank quite a few of. But we had fun. And we really enjoyed it. So that was after the snorkeling. Um, of course, when we got home, they had these. And these, are, these actually don't have alcohol, but they're just really cool cups. So uh, I took a picture of that. And then um, at night on day two was the first formal night. So we had to dress up. This right here is Crystal pictured with, in the middle, Lindsay Hardy from um, Atlanta, Georgia. She was a Growth 25 member this year, which is like a six-figure earner. And then off uh, on the left, Ivy Chan is a two-star diamond director and million-dollar earner out of San Francisco. I mean, it's so cool. You know, they say uh, birds of a feather flock together. Well, if you want to hang out with uh, people who, who help a lot of others, people who really care about people and also make a very good income, man, these are great friends to have. This is me pictured with Diamond Director Paul Duick from uh, Canada. He's actually from Vancouver. And um, again, just a, an awesome person. So we really had a good time hanging out with our friends at the formal dinner. And then we took formal pictures. And my parents great picture that they always start the webinar off with was taken on a cruise. So I was like, you know, we got to get some good pictures. And uh, it's cool because you can buy picture packages. And so we bought um, some of these pictures, but that was our best picture from day two, uh, formal pictures. So then day three, um, or Crystal, did you want to say something about day two? Uh, snorkeling is just really cool. Jared had never done it. Um, I did it once before in September, this past September. And it's just, it's really magical. 
there's a whole world underneath the water and it's crazy to think of, of what all is happening. Um, the water was so amazing. It was so blue, really clear, nice. And it was warm, but it was cool because it was hot. If that makes any sense. Um, and we just had a blast. It was nice to go on the catamaran with um, Marshall and Nanny because we we knew them, but it's just another way for you to really get to know people. I know convention, you see everybody, but you don't get this this quality time to really get to know someone and, and really, you know, make a, a big bond with them. Yes, absolutely. That is the best part is that bond that you make with these great people that also work in USANA. All right, so day three, St. Kitts, and uh, it was just so cool. I couldn't believe we won this trip because they just took us everywhere, and they basically drop you off at this port. So the boat pulls up the next day, and you you know you get off and you have plans. And day, uh, this is a picture we took in front of the boat. We we're all excited because we had chosen to do the dolphin excursion, and uh, this was definitely one of the major highlights for both of us during the uh, during the trip. There's Crystal there. We're waiting for the excursion to come and find us. I guess we just had to kind of wait till they came. But once we got all set up, we're in there with the dolphins. This is the the dolphin kissing Crystal and then Crystal kissing the dolphins. And they just have a joy about them like a dog almost. They're so happy to see you and to hang out with you. And they just have a little grin all the time. Um, so one of the things on the dolphins is uh, excursion. They, they actually let you grab their fins and they, they pull you through the water. And it's like so fun to hang out with these dolphins. So there's Crystal also holding on for dear life, um, going through the, the pull part. And uh, they really pull, pull you good and get you a, a nice experience. So that was part of it. And then another part of – that was splash, splashing, just splash time. They definitely win the splash battle. And uh, then another part of it was the dolphins get right behind your left and right foot and actually push you up through the water. So that's actually Crystal. But below is her being pushed by dolphins. Like, so cool. And they actually push you forward through the water and you have to flex your feet so that your feet stay stiff so that dolphins can push you. It's like, so they're so smart. So then they did it to me as well. And I'm making that face because I'm like, wow, this dolphin's like right on my foot and both feet. It was really neat though. So they pushed us through the water. Then they gave us a show. Like they jump up in the air and like they do it together and, you know, synchronized. Um, just like totally amazing. And then they come and then there was another part where they, they try and go as high as you go and they smile, just got this little smile. They love to be petted like that on their fins. So that was another part of what we did. And uh, Crystal, they let you take kind of like a formal picture with the dolphin that we had that one framed. And then that was our group photo. This was the group that did the, the excursion together. So these are all uh, associates in USANA. Uh, they're all people who earned the cruise, built their business, and are on a trip of a lifetime. But it's so cool to make friends literally from all of the different time zones all over the world um, that were there. So we'll always remember that trip that we had together. So that was day three. And Crystal, did you want to say anything about day three? Um, the dolphin thing was just really so special. Um... And the fact that, you know, we got to do it with some of our friends was really cool, too. They, they, it was just, it's a great, like this picture, for example, they told us that they couldn't take a picture with more than five people in it. And Michelle was awesome and worked her magic and somehow got the guys to sort of um, have the dolphins pose certain ways so that we were able to take this big group picture of us. So this is, you know, just extremely special. The dolphins are amazing. I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> it was so much fun. Um, and K St. Kitts is just, it was a really pretty place to go. I'd like to go and actually explore the, you know, the island a little more next time. Absolutely. Thank you, Crystal. So day three was amazing. 
And uh, moving on to day four, we're at sea. So at this point, we're going from from St. Kitts down to right north of Venezuela. So we're like literally gone on a boat for 36 hours straight. So that was fun just to hang out on the boat. And this is a picture with Grace Kiahojo, who is from the Direct Sales World Alliance. She is a major trainer in our industry. Um, our weekly action plan that we use to help our team members make good money, she helped us to develop that. We worked directly with her, and we got to have a private session with her, um, and this was our view. I mean, literally, we're sitting there having our lunch. We're talking to one of the best direct sales trainers in the world, and it's all about our business and how we can help our team and help you make those checks and help you get to the next trip. And we are so focused on that. I cannot tell you um, how much we are focused on that, and we want you to be on this next trip to Costa Rica. So that was a very special time. Um, and then – during at sea, you like have a whole day to do different things. And so one of the things that was something that Crystal wanted to do was this uh, whiskey class. Johnny Walker is a special uh, scotch, I guess. And um, I took the class too. It was really neat. I learned more about scotch than I'd ever known. But they give you samples and, uh, you know, it was just a fun thing to do while you're at sea. There's a million things you can do. Uh, one of the things we did was we went up to the top of, of the decks and we had margaritas and we sat there and watched the the ocean and there was a reggae band that sounded just like Bob Marley. Uh, and we were doing it with all the USANA people, you know, all our friends. And it was just like, so fun, Could, totally a blast. Um, so that's a panoramic picture I took from the top. And then, um, at night that later that night, USANA had a private function for the contest winners. And so we went there and we hung out with more of our friends. And then <clears throat> the, to end the night, we had a, a nice form, uh, di formal dinner with, more of the our friends just I mean it was just like okay what table are you going to sit at this this night and um, pictured on the right is uh, Paula and Alberto from Mexico they're some of the top Ruby directors in Mexico and in the back there is um, a gold director from Boston and then one from Atlanta Georgia and then some people from Montana on the left so it's like seriously these USANA associates from all over the world and people were sharing their stories of healing how the products have helped them heal their bodies their friends their families and the and the finances that have come the rewards from helping other people Crystal did you have something you want to say about day 4 It was really neat to be on the boat we hadn't actually we we'd been on the boat for you know a few days already and we really had not explored the boat so it was cool to just be able to walk around casually you know we got to sleep in and just just enjoy being out in the water we um hanging out with the people you know with our usana family up on the on the roof was just or on the pool deck was really cool um because everybody's just so casual it's it's very laid back you know everybody's just there to have a good time and um, get to know each other much better. Having dinner again with, you know, a, a different group of people getting to learn about um, Mexico and, you know, everything else around, you know, all around the world um, and people who you really resonate with. You find some really good, good friends. Totally. Lifelong friends. So day five, we arrive in Aruba. So we had been at sea for about 36 hours. So we were excited to be at a new place. And so we get off the boat and this is our group that did the excursion. We were going to go snorkeling again in Aruba. These are all USANA associates from all over the world. Actually, mostly United States, but really all over the United States. And um, <clears throat> again, I'm just taking more pictures of our boat that's so huge. It's like a skyscraper that's like in the water. So then we hit on the, the catamaran. We go through the clear waters. We're taking pictures. Um, we see this, this, uh, what's it called? Par Parasail thing going by. Um, and then we did the snorkeling and then afterwards they, they give you these Aruba Ariba drinks, which is like a nice little mixed drink and you just have a blast on the way home from the boat. So that was, I mean, that's a few pictures, but we were really at sea, uh, for probably about four hours snorkeling and having fun and taking pictures and just enjoying ourselves. But, um, that, that was day five in Aruba. Did you want to add something? Crystal? Um, well, one little story was actually on our catamaran on the way back. Um, there's other boats, you know, doing their thing in the water. And there was a boat that was that had tubers um, attached. So this guy got bumped off. And all of a sudden, our catamaran is literally about to run him over. So everybody's kind of freaking out. The, the captain, like, cuts the engine. And then one of the crew guys literally, like, 
it was a blink of an eye, like jumps off the boat into the water, pushes the guy down and like saves his life basically. Cause we were coming for him. Like there was no, he couldn't move out of the way whatsoever. And that was just really awesome to just kind of witness that. And I mean, it's, it's awesome, but it's sad and scary at the same time, <laughs> but it was neat that, um, no one you know, was hurt. No one was hurt. And you know, our guy was like a hero. Yeah, he was the hero. His name's Arthur. His name's Arthur. <laughs> yes. So, you know, all kinds of fun things happening. And the water there was super amazing, too. The color clarity yeah. was like a turquoise green blue Aruba for sure. Totally great nice trip. to go visit. <laughs> so day six was our last stop in Curacao. And uh, so we're chilling in Curacao. And this is an uh, island right next door to Aruba. So we were really, really still right Right north of Venezuela, right north of South America, and um, it's yeah, it's owned by the Netherlands, but it's it's uh, anyway, it's just a cool place, and uh, again, took real big (laughs) cool pictures of our boat as soon as we got off there. Crystal's with her Rev Three, you could bring Rev Three in your suitcase on on the uh, ship, so we had our Rev Three, we were very happy, and uh, we saw these little lizards and geckos while we were there, and they kind of were just hanging out all over the place. We ran into uh, Lori Truman, United States Field Development, uh, while we were shopping. There was a lot of great shopping there, and uh, we had not shopped the whole time, so we we're like, "Well, we gotta um, get, you know, get some stuff." And we took a ferry across to the shopping area, and it was just fun to explore. And, and then we did an excursion, and this is us on a bus with our friends. It was called Discover Curacao, so we got to, to kind of see more of the city, and. Uh, just do a lot of really shopping that day, but just having fun exploring the city on our own. Did you want to add something to about Curacao? Curacao, um, for anybody who knows um, any drinks, like beverages, um, Curacao, if bartenders and people get confused, they call it Caraco. It's like, um, it's a liqueur, but it's made here in Curacao. So people think it's Caraco and it's actually called Curacao, but the um the liquor distillery is is here in this in this island for that and it's a triple sec that's kind of a flavored um liqueur that you add to different drinks like like a really I didn't know that or something yeah so we did get some Caraco <laughs> no Curacao but um yeah really a great great day great time there in Curacao so at the end of the day around five o'clock the boat was like okay it's time to go back and so we had a nice formal dinner. And we're hanging out this night with the Chinese leaders. So we sat with these different Chinese. Uh, one was a Chinese Emerald director, Executive Emerald, is just killing it in the Chinese market. And they just lead with the products. And I, they, I don't know, the Chinese people, they work. Their work ethic is so incredible. Um, so we got to le- learn about their mentality. And it was, it was really great. And um, then we did our formal pictures again. So we were in our different outfits. And Oh, if you're on these cruises, plan for the formal pictures because you can get some really nice ones. Um, so you, we already posted all these on Facebook, but that was kind of like part of it is is the formal pictures that you get to do on the cruise. That's my favorite. Um, but definitely a cool experience on day six. And and then after that, we had a glow party to end the night. And this was like our basically kind of like our second to last night on the boat. There was this big party. We were all dressed in white. And, um, you know, dancing, there's Crystal and Lindsay Hardy again from Atlanta and, um, they became buddies and that's Brian Armstrong. Who's part of the U S field development team corporate. It's just a fun picture. We're just all goofing around, having fun, dancing to music. Um, that's all the Mexico, not all of them, but a, a big part of the Mexico group that was there made friends. I mean, just cool making friends from all these different countries. Um, and then they or Crystal. Did you want to add anything about um, no, I think I said, well, okay. no, it was, the glow party was really fun just cause everybody was, you know, letting loose and dancing around and, and that's just, I don't know, that's my thing. I love to dance. So I had a really good time there. <laughs> yes. So you saw a family knows how to party for sure. <laughs> so day seven, this is our last day of the cruise. This is us basically, um, day seven is all day at sea. Again, it's like 36 hours or 24 hours actually, um, at sea. And so the, the morning was training, and actually we got to learn from Grace Kiahoho, uh, again, the Direct Sales World Alliance um, trainer, and I didn't get a picture because I was taking notes, but then after that, we had a private meeting with USANA's management, USANA's co-CEO, Kevin Guest, and then this lineup here is all of the people 
not all of them, but uh, many of the main people who make USANA go from the product education to the marketing to the actual manufacturing of the products to the uh, field development to the media, social media to the IT and all the questions, any concerns we had, anything that was going on with us, we could ask these questions and they answered all of them. They really care about us. And I learned so much about the heart of USANA, heart of this company, what it's all about, what they stand for. Um, and how they really have us and our interests in mind. And, they, you know, I definitely always give USANA the benefit of the doubt because they have made so many great decisions over the last 10 years that have kept us very solid in, you know, a solid income and helping our clients get results. So that was a great, great, I really, that day was one of my favorites. And then we had lunch with uh, Lori Truman, the director of U.S. Field Development in the middle there. And um, Crystal actually was off getting a two-hour massage. Um, but she was there at the first half of this this party as well. And uh, <clears throat> it was just nice to spend some time and, and exchange strategies with Lori Truman and uh, Michelle and Amanda. And then uh, this is Bruce. He was our cabin attendant. So every cabin, which is kind of like a floor of the ship, has their own attendant, almost like a – I don't want to say butler, but, I mean, we called Bruce for everything we needed. But we became really good friends with him, and he, like, he was like, what's USANA? I want to know about USANA. So we exchanged numbers with Bruce, and who knows? Maybe we'll have a new associate in uh, the Caribbean islands now. Uh, Bruce is just a wonderful guy. Um, Crystal, did you want to add anything about Bruce or day seven? Um, the massage was awesome. It was, uh, good to end the trip with that, um, just to kind of relax a little bit. Um, of course we love Bruce. He was really awesome. He would always, um, they, they like would come and clean your room and get it ready. Like when you were at breakfast and then, um, when you came back for breakfast, it would be done. And then even in the evenings when you would go for dinner, you'd come back and it would be clean again. And he would always make these little animal towel animal things you know how, like there's balloon animals they know how to make animals out of little towels and it was really awesome but um and i loved seeing that <laughs> yeah. he was so sweet he was so nice very attentive like works hard for sure yeah we gave him extra tip and rev three yes for sure <laughs> Um, and then uh, at the end of the day seven was the farewell evening. So this is us with Conchita Vargas Lugo, who's like the number one income earner in Mexico. And Carlo is the head of field development there. Um, so we're just taking pictures. We're hanging out. It was our last night. And then we had dinner with Tracy Wankman, who's become one of our very best friends in USANA, um, her and her husband, Greg. Again, she was the one that's the top client enroller in all of the United States. And we had this amazing Italian dinner and uh, also with Angela Gray and her husband, Todd. Um, where are they from? Uh, I can't remember. I but <laughs> it was just an amazing, ama best Italian I'd ever had, hands down. Like definitely not Olive Garden. It was <laughs> 50 times better than Olive Garden, but like seriously amazing food. Um, so, yes, it's just a great, great time on the cruise. And um, – Crystal, do you want to say anything about just to sum it up, just to finish this uh, the the training? Well, it's it's definitely a great reward for working hard, um, and it's not. I mean, it is a little bit of play, but you know, we do get to learn a lot on the on the cruise, and you know, these events that that they reward you with, they're still um, wanting to hear your feedback, and it's almost a a little bit more intimate for you to get to talk to somebody um, that you, you know, you don't really get to get to converse with very long mm -hmm. and you get to grow as a, as a USANA, as a USANA family. Like our, it's just that much more of a, a stronger relationship. Absolutely. Thank you, Crystal, for, for being here on the webinar and for sharing your experiences with me. It was very special to do this and I definitely couldn't do it without you. It's a team effort. And thank you to our team that also works really hard. We want you to be on this uh, trip and win it with your business next week or next year. Yes. So let's talk about that for a minute um, to finish up our training. How can I win the trip to Costa Rica? That's next year's trip. You might be thinking that, uh, especially after seeing all these pictures. So first things first, uh, you would need this, write this down, growthtracker.teamdsi.info. Um, this is a link that can help you track your CVP, your income, so that you can win the next trip. And um, 
we'll we'll get back we'll post that on the team uh, Facebook page so you can get that link right after this webinar. But basically, these are the dates: November sixteenth through the twentieth, twenty sixteen. It's five days in Costa Rica with your USANA family. And this, uh, where will we be staying? You might be asking. Well, we're going to be staying at the Costa Rica Westin Golf Resort and Spa. So here are some of the pictures. Uh, you know, totally an, another just amazing, amazing trip. Cannot wait for this. Um, so that's going to be some of the places. I mean, would you like to have a little margarita in this in this little pool and hang out? I mean, look at it. it's like it's a a pool built in. Really neat. Um, great rooms. You can go golfing. You can do excursions. Imagine hanging out with the Usana family as the sun sets here in the middle of Costa Rica. What a blast! Um, so, how can you win this amazing trip? Well. Number one, you have to opt in for free. So you go to contests and events. Once you log into your USANA back office and you put success on the beach, click on success on the beach, and then you click opt in, which is right there. And once you've opted in, then it's game on. And then you just figure out your CVP from the last fiscal year. Now, some of you watching, you you were not even part of USANA last fiscal year. So you you start off with a zero. And then what happens is, you grow more than last year. So you start to grow your business. And um, basically, what do you mean by that? Here's an example. Let's just say that you made 2000 CVP last fiscal year of uh, tw tw July 2014 to July 2015. Then uh, from, from July 2015 to July 2016, you made 36,000. Okay, so that, that means you grew your business to about 3,000 a month, which can be done for sure. You grew by a total of 34,000, so you would win Royal Beach Room for two plus airfare for two to Costa Rica. All right, so that's, that's growing a lot. That's definitely possible, though. People were on the trip that did that. Um, another example, let's say you made 2,000 CVP last year, but then this year you make 30,000 CVP. So that's, a, again, you know, 2,500 a month with your USANA business. Your growth was 28,000, so you get the deluxe suite for two plus airfare for two to Costa Rica. So um, what about if you made 2,000, but then you uh, grew by 24,000 CVP? So a little bit less growth, about 2,000 a month in your USANA business. You grew by 22,000, so you win the deluxe suite for two plus airfare for one to Costa Rica. So you'd have to, um, you would have to pay for your your guest airfare. Another example: let's say you made 2,000 last year, but this year you made 18,000. Well, then you grew by 16,000. That's what we did to go on the cruise. Um, that would mean you would win your deluxe suite for two in Costa Rica, basically your food and and your your uh, hotel, and you'd have to buy your flight. Okay, what if you grew by uh, 5,000. Let's say you, you made 5,000 CVP growth. Well, then you would win $500 cash towards your hotel stay in Costa Rica. So it's not, you. I mean, you don't have to get like the whole thing even. You can just win uh, money towards the event. Um, what if you made, let's say, 8,000 growth? You grew by 8,000 CVP, you make $800 cash towards your stay in Costa Rica. So it all just depends on how much you grow. If, if you made uh, 12,000 CV, CVP growth, or fourteen thousand, then you would uh, you would get fourteen hundred dollars cash towards your stay in Costa Rica. So you see how it goes. It's basically based on how much growth starting at five thousand, and you just do your best to work hard. Sixteen thousand though means that you covered all your deluxe suite, and then if you grow beyond that, it starts to pay for airfare. So you can win at whatever level, or if you don't win, you can just pay for yourself to go to Costa Rica. I mean, and, and be with you, son of family. So, uh, but it's the cool thing is that everybody can win at whatever level they want to work. How can I keep track? Again, you get the growth tracker link. And thank you for watching our training. We're going to end by just having the upcoming events that are going on. So in San Antonio, we're going to be having this Saturday a training of well, it's going to be an amazing training. 90 Days to Achiever and Going for Gold. You see those six individuals there pictured. Um, all of them are Million Dollar Club members. All of them have been in USANA over a decade. Do you want to learn from people who've made a life out of, of USANA? Um, you know, how do you go from that new associate making $100 a week or less to get to a solid part-time income? And if you're at a solid part-time income, how do you get to gold? How do you get to you know, a thousand a week or two thousand a week, get to the ruby or emerald status. Um, how do you do that? Well, it's all going to be covered here Saturday, October 24th in San Antonio, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is an all day training, 
And you would normally have to spend $1,000 to fly to some city to see the speakers and learn what you're going to learn on that day. You can do it. It's in your backyard for only $30 if you buy your ticket online this week. It's $40 at the door. So buy your ticket in advance. Um, also, guests can get a ticket as well and learn. But this is an investment. And uh, it's definitely worth it. So I want to encourage you to go on there and uh, attend if you're in San Antonio. Now, if you're in Salt Lake City, they're doing the same thing. Uh, October 24th, again, this Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, it's only $10 online. Wow. they uh, Actually, it's because it's at USANA's home office. It's a lot less because USANA provides a free uh, room in, in USANA's building, whereas in San Antonio, we have to rent a hotel. Nevertheless, it's going to be a great training from Andre Gordon, Ruby Director, uh, Brian Douglas, Foundation Executive Diamond, and Randy and Viola Krebs, our very own executive goal directors from Team DSI. So cool to see uh, you guys being on this main training, mom and dad. Very excited about it. Well, we're excited about it, Jared. Um, one thing to point out on that uh, training is that this is not a 90-day to achiever training. This one is a specifically GoPro event and recap. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. All right, so if you need Dr. Lad McNamara CDs, uh, ladmcnamara.com, you can go there. You can get a 10-pack from me or a 20-pack. They're $250 a CD. Uh, my mom and dad also have CDs available, uh, or you can buy them from the website. But that CD is a life changer, and it helps people in a major, major way. And um, the Sweet Retreat's coming up. And, um, Mom, did you want to say a few words, or should we just keep going to, to end the webinar? Um, well, just just real quick, there's seven that have committed, and we're we're getting numbers to fill a table of ten. So we need three more, and obviously the rooms are booking really fast. There's only uh, king beds left. I would suggest if you're wanting to go that you you get um, the number and call and book a room just to hold it. Awesome, thank you, mom. It's going to be an amazing event. It's eighty five dollars um, to to attend the event. It's it's in Arizona. Okay. Uh, it's in January. And if you need a roommate, we'll get you a roommate, make it cheap for you. But again, it's all about investing in yourself. If you want to get to a big income in this and be very successful, you have to invest in your personal development and your skill sets, make friends. And, you know, that's a thing. That's why we say make sure your bills are paid with your job. And then use your extra money to invest in your skill set. And then that's where your USANA business can start to pay you in spades. Um, so who's going so far? Viola Krebs, Crystal Krebs, Melita Sheets, Phyllis Walker, Andrea Hall, Sherry Bender, and Nisha Parker. Very exciting. So contact my mom or my wife for the info on the sweet retreat. But wait, there's more. There's a bonus event on Sunday, January 17th with Grace Kiahoho. That's the person we spoke with about in the, at the cruise. Uh, this is going to be a great, great event. If, you can, if you're going to go, may as well stay that extra day because uh, learning from her is very, very valuable. So definitely want to recommend you do that. And then, of course, Las Vegas, we have an event coming up in April, and I don't want to go into all the details on that one, but um, that's another one that we're going to be doing in Vegas in April. And then, of course, International Convention, most important event of the year. So you see we're going to something about every three months, and International Convention is really is the big, big kahuna of everything that we do. Um, we ha already have a lot of people already pre-registered a year in advance for convention. Uh, I'm so proud of Team DSI for everything that you guys are doing. And I want to just end the webinar by encouraging you to be a pro. You know, this is the picture of uh, the bins I keep in the trunk of my car. I have extra CDs. I have extra books. I treat this as a profession, and therefore it pays me like a profession. And if you want to get to that level, uh, you can, and you can do it part-time, and you can be and, and build your business to be at that level. So I want to encourage you all to go pro, treat it serious, even if you're on a part-time basis, even if you only have 10 hours a week, uh, because you can do this. So to remind you of our DMO, again, you do these three things, you'll be successful every day. Use your products, AM and PM. Be a product of the product. Read, watch, or listen to 15 minutes of personal development material daily. Add two brand new people to your contact list and invite them. You do those three things every day, you can be successful. Even right now, it's 9 o'clock on, on, in Texas. You could still invite two more two people via a text and get them to watch a video. Okay, so that is the DMO. Um, we're going to end with any questions or comments. I know we went a little bit over, uh, but we had a lot of content to cover. So actually, I want to um, go ahead and just call on a few people that are on the webinar. I want to know what you liked most about the webinar. And uh, I actually see my friend Bianca Moreno on the line. I'm going to unmute you, Bianca. Oh, and you have to also unmute yourself. Can you unmute yourself, Bianca? 
Are you there? There you go. Bianca, how are you? Can you hear? Oh, we can hear you. Awesome. So, um, everybody, I just want you to know Bianca is uh, a friend of mine that works for Starbucks in San Antonio, and she's currently evaluating USANA and learning a bit more about it. Uh, what was the highlight for you on the webinar, Bianca? Highlight. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm a little shy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. What was your favorite part of the webinar? Uh, knowing that you can grow uh, within the company. I mean, the harder you work, the more will come for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, um, thanks for letting me put you on the spot right now. It's uh, awesome to see that you're you're expanding your your influence and your leadership. I was very impressed by you um, and what you you know how you work at Starbucks and what you've already accomplished. So, um, I look forward to uh, having you meet the team soon. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go over to Phyllis Walker in Salt Lake City, Utah. Phyllis, what was the highlight for you? Hi. Um, well, there was a lot of info, and it was fast, and I wrote down a lot of notes. But the part about Betty Meyer asking her sister for seven years, her persistence, um, it just spoke to me tonight. It's amazing. And yeah. family is one of the hardest to try and get to join. I, I know that from experience of 19 years. And um, I think that's fabulous that Betty never gave up. Yep. And the other thing is I want to go to GoPro next year. All right. Well, let's get it done, Phyllis. You can contact my parents and get you one of those tickets. I will. I have a note here to call Randy. All right. Thank you for sharing, Phyllis. You're welcome. All right. Let's go over to Carmen Gutierrez in San Antonio, Texas. You have to unmute yourself, Carmen. What was the highlight for you on the webinar? Are you there? Hello. Can you hear yes, me? Yes, we can hear you. Hey, Jared. Uh, well, I would say the highlight for me was the – the part where um, it's mentioned that without uh, inspiration, without strategy, it's not, it's not going to work. And that, to me, is really what uh, is stuck in my mind. So mm -hmm. I think that for many of us, we should always have that in, in our heads and always, uh, um, you know, keep going. And, yes, it's good to have dreams, but also put them in action. That's basically it for me. Yep. And and I totally hear that because I know how much you appreciate the strategies that we do with Team DSI. Um, so I, it was really good to hear you say that. Oh, yes. yes. I know that's where you're headed. That's what's going to get you there, Carmen. Thank you, Carmen. Okay, thank you for your support and the webinars. You're welcome. All right, let's move on to Arlene Ramirez in San Antonio, Texas. Arlene, are you there? Hello. Yes, what was the highlight for you, Arlene? Uh, well, wow. Um, trip looks really exciting. Looks gives you something to look forward to. Um, yep, that's for sure. Beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> that's right. Costa Rica next year, Arlene. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll call you after the webinar. Absolutely. Okay, bye-bye. All right, let's go over to Khalid Medina in San Antonio. Khalid, are you there? Hello? Is that Barbara? Yeah, yeah. we're both here. Hey, Khalid and Barbara, what was the highlight for you guys on the webinar? Uh, the trip, the cruise for sure. Definitely the dolphins. Uh, <laughs> I can totally see you guys on the next trip with us. We would have such a blast. Yeah. And then also um, the Eric Quarry, because we watched it you know, online. And uh, I really like that he went through that whole, um, the whole session where you have to, like, where he changes your mind. And he, it, yeah, he, it's called the inner game. Uh -huh. And uh, that was really good, you know, because, like, 
like some stuff was brought up like in my face and I was like oh my gosh that's me like I need to work on that like and I never even realized it until you know like I really like took time to think like what's probably holding me back or whatever so that was for me oh I love it thank you Barbara mm -hmm. yeah and uh, I guess also to the the Bob Proctor that was probably um, like a big like realizing that you can't really make a move until you get so much personal development and listen to it every single day and hours but if you don't have like a paradigm shift like nothing's gonna happen for you so um, that was like huge for me and like really understanding like how you, you can get that to happen and you need like emotion and action in order to be able to get a paradigm shift so that was a paradigm shift for me <laughs> Wow. That was a big, like, yeah, it was huge, so, so, yeah. I love it. I love it. Emotion in action and paradigm shift. That's a good thing to pray for, right? Yeah. I so, we, like, that. screenshotted the Costa Rica trip pictures, so we're going to, like, post them up, and because uh, we're going to go. <laughs> all right. It's really fun that we're learning all this stuff, you know, we're, like, I mean, we're pretty young, and where you're having like these big like mental mind shifts and you know our paradigm is changing and like we're learning from like you know you and and Randy and Viola and everybody you know who works really hard at this and we're learning so much and it's so crazy just it's awesome though at the same time yes so it it's is really good for our future you know yeah oh yeah I love I love how you're thinking long term you know because mm -hmm. You know, it's like y'all are, are still, whew, you have so many wonderful years ahead of you and you're just getting started. So I uh, yeah. can't, can't wait to do our coaching and uh, focus on Costa Rica for you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Khalid and Barbara. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to Christian Glad and Becky Armstrong who are on the phone. I just unmuted both of you. Are you there? Present. Hey, what was the Can highlight you for you guys on the webinar? Um, the, the cruise that we didn't get to go on and, you know, knowing that you had a good time as well and also did some development while you were there for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A, a new goal. A new goal. I love it. Well, I'm glad I'm glad to know that the – our... I was going to say. <laughs> Same thing? Yes. Well, you guys like to have fun. I know that's that's your motivator. And if that's the case, then that trip would have been for you. <laughs> that, that was more fun. I was almost on fun overload, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear that. Costa Rica, that's that's the next I one. I ask if there is such a thing. Not, not for you guys. No, not, not for, for us, Crystal. Not for us fun people. <laughs> I was I was done. But um, I had a blast, too, for sure. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Did you want to add anything else? No, I just really um, – I like that we do this. That's one of the things that came up in the GoPro, too, um, just, you know, getting together with your team on a regular basis um, in conference mm -hmm. calls and how really? effective that is. Yeah, well, that's good to hear. I'm glad you said that too, because we work so hard on these webinars. But it, it really, it's worth it at the end of the day. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, Christian. All right, let's go over to Shay Huggins in San Antonio, actually in Poteet, Texas. Shay, what was the highlight for you on the webinar? I'm I'm a big fan of incentives. So hearing about how you guys um, the trips and listening to all those people talk is just kind of inspiring and exciting. So I like that re that positive reinforcement. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can't wait for our coaching on Wednesday. Yes, and hopefully I'll feel better by then. Yes, I hopefully. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> I hope yeah. you feel better. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, I'll call you after the webinar. All right, sounds good. All right, thank you. All right, let's go to Aurora Cantu. 
Aurora, are you there? Oh, you have to unmute yourself. Yes, I am. There you go. What? Where in Texas are you, Aurora? Where are you now in Texas? I live in Floresville near my dad. Floresville, Texas. That's right. What was the highlight for you on the webinar, Aurora? Uh, pretty much everything. I mean, you know, the GoPro was really cool. Uh, geez, Richard Branson. I mean, I follow him, you know, quite a bit. So that would be really exciting. And definitely the cruise. It was good to see uh, Veronica and John Stolfo there. Yeah. I haven't seen them in a while. That was awesome. Looked like you and Crystal had a blast. That's great. Total blast. All, all by helping those are, those are goals to work for, you know, if not one, but the other. Um, but it looks like the GoPro is later in a different month. So if you win the cruise, you'd be able to do both, right? Correct. So for next year, you won't have conflicting dates. You could go to uh, okay. and GoPro. Yeah, and I was really impressed that Jordan Kemper, you know, flew from Aruba because I was saw him on Facebook uh, talking about that and being on stage. And you can only be on stage if you make a, you know, a really good amount per month from what I understand. Yep, that's true. So, you know, he's a pretty pretty much a, an inspiration. All of y'all are. So awesome. It's very, 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 um, what is that word, encouraging. Encouraging. Well, thank you, Aurora. Thanks for sharing. It's good to hear your voice. Can't wait to see you on Saturday's training. At Saturday's training. Yeah, I'll be Saturday. I'll see you Saturday. Okay. See you then. Okay. All right. And lastly, Rebecca Bowles in San Antonio, Texas. What was the highlight for you, Rebecca? All right. I know you guys had a wonderful trip. Okay, right yes, here. we did. And your enthusiasm. There is a twinkle in your eye. There is a lift in your voice as to what you are going to be doing next year. I'm hearing this that you, you you're going to be doing unbelievable things next year. Just your, your voice. You had your eyes opened. And I think it's awesome. That is that's one of that's one of the takeaways I'm seeing. Wow. Without seeing it, but that's what I'm seeing. You you there's a different tone of your voice. And it seems like every time you and Crystal go to one of these events, you come back and you've got some extra knowledge and you want to share it. And you guys, you and your you, Crystal, and your parents are so good about that. So, so giving on that. So, cruising can be fun. And you do feel as though you are the king or the queen of the day with your uh, deck attendant. So, you will be there again next year. Um, so I'm so proud of you guys that you got to do it. Thank you so, so very much. Proud. Well, I, I really awesome. appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you for saying that. And, you know, you are right. It, it all comes from helping other people. And, uh, you know, it's it's just a, a wonderful thing that, you know, you get from giving. And it's awesome to hear uh, your encouraging words. I really appreciate it. And the fact that you just got back from the trip and you were able to put this together, that is my my big aha moment because – no way would I be a, have the capability of doing that. But you guys do that. Oh, thank you so much. You are so sweet. I really appreciate that. Just, oh, yeah. You guys, you guys can get it done. You got. You have some great IT people working with you. Oh yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's Nate, it's Randy Krebs. Yes, you do. And Crystal, yes, you Crystal do. Nicole Lopez Krebs for sure too. Oh. Amazing. Yes. Well, I look forward to seeing uh, the team Saturday. Saturday. Game on, Rebecca. Thank you. Good to hear your voice. Good to hear you. And are, you got your leg legs back? Got them back. Them. Took a couple you days. Got them back. Awesome. Good. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay. 
All right. Well, what an amazing, amazing time. Great webinar. I want to give the final word to Randy and Viola Krebs, my wonderful parents. Mom and dad, did you guys have any uh, highlights or anything you wanted to add? Yes. Um, well, obviously, there's nothing like going on a USANA cruise. It uh, puts a whole different perspective on a cruise. And I am so glad that you made the decision to go on the cruise. I know you were a little torn on, on whether to do GoPro or go on the cruise. It was at the same time. But what it ended up what ended up happening was it expands the consciousness of the whole team that we were able to tap into both GoPro and the cruise collectively and it really makes for an abundant team. That's what we have. Definitely have an abundant team. And I love every one of you on this call and every one of you listening on this uh, on the phone, which we don't even know how many people are on the phone. But um, and everyone who watches this video, we really appreciate you. And we look forward to working together with everyone to helping more people. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is about, helping people with their health and making a difference in their lives and giving them a community. Um, and mom and dad, thank you so much for all your hard work and going to GoPro and you know investing in your education and helping others. You're welcome. Did you have, uh, did you have something yeah, else? Yeah, I did. I had one thing. I loved all your pictures. Uh, day three, I was fascinated by the dolphins uh, dragging you guys all around the lake. Uh, I noticed a couple of the pictures you were wearing glasses with the white rim dark glasses, and then one pic they were missing. I thought, <laughs> oh, shoot, he's dumped his glasses, and then day four, your glasses reappeared. So uh, I, I was uh, happy to see them back. That is funny um, that that was one of your highlights of the webinar. <laughs> <laughs> I pay attention to the little details. Yeah, so you're paying attention double time. Yeah. Oh, and they gave us goodies. Like, they gave us these really cool sunglasses. We didn't wear them, but they're really cool. Fold out. We'll probably have Jared them. On, them on, yeah, Jared had them on top of his head on a couple of the dolphin drags, and uh, in one picture they were gone. Oh, yeah. And so, we had to take those off. To make sure, because they, yeah. they said if they fell off, they weren't going to go back down, go down to get them. So, <laughs> no, but no, great job. I, you know, I'm, I'm also with mom, very happy that you guys uh, went on the cruise. You earned it. I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. Sixteen thousand CDP growth, or over seven, close to seventeen over uh, one year. One year uh, as a Ruby executive, Ruby. That, that's a great accomplishment. And I'm proud of you both. Oh, well, thank you. We really appreciate it. And we thank couldn't you. do it without our team. It is team. It is team for sure. All right, everybody. Well, um, we're going to end the webinar like we always do. Um, we're going to unmute the lines. You have to also unmute yourself. And we always say good night and God bless. So everyone go ahead and say good night and God bless. Good night, good night and God bless. God bless. Good night and God bless. Good night and God bless. Good night and God bless.